Hey, I'm Bruce Cook, and today we're going to be uh, trying a pepper I have yet to try before. And uh, it's going to be one that I grew myself. Um, this is the Naga Morich pepper. So I grew these things uh, from seeds that I got from Jimmy Pickles. Um, I actually grew this, uh, or actually picked this probably th three days ago, three, four days ago. It was uh, starting to, the skin was starting to feel a little soft. Um, it was losing its hardness, uh, and I think it was from couple nights we had uh, it was getting kind of cold out um, so I picked this it was uh, ripe for the most part a little bit of green that was at the bottom of it so um, often when you pick a pepper and it's starting to ripen if you pick it it'll speed up the ripening process so I did that so I could get the uh, pepper off the plant before uh, the pepper would go bad so uh, I am gonna be cutting this open just to make sure there's nothing bad in it there is like a little tiny pinhole in it, so I don't know if that's... Oh, let me take a look. I know I've seen it. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on camera, but there's like a little pinhole right there. So I'm going to cut this open just to make sure there's nothing real nasty inside of here. And then, uh, then we'll pop it and see what happens. Um, I don't see anything bad in here. It looks good. All right try to get this on camera so yeah it looks pretty good inside uh, I'm gonna pluck out a few of the seeds um, I'll, still, I'll show you the uh, pepper after I do that and so you can see I still have all the guts inside of here um, I don't need too many of the seeds uh, I am actually uh, on a part of this video I'm gonna be showing uh, uh, what I got going on with my uh, growing pepper plants because I did started germinating seeds already uh, for next year it's in that propagation unit it's on my filing cabinet in the background you can probably see with the towel over it um, so I cut out uh, I think I a few of the rows in my propagation unit um, I didn't have enough seeds uh, of certain varieties to fill the, uh, the rows on my seedling tray so and this was uh, one of the three peppers um, I needed a few seeds from but anyways um, that's the, uh, guts after I pulled the seeds out, see the placenta and everything's still in there. Um, these peppers are alleged to be around, I think Google said, like 1.5 million Scoville. So, uh, this pepper isn't too big, and 1.5 ain't bad. That's, uh, probably like the, uh, the lower end of what a Carolina Reaper is. So, I don't expect to be torched by this thing. But uh, we're going to pop this and let you know what I think of it. I'm getting a bit, quite a bit of bitterness from this thing. Alright, I swallowed, well, I swallowed most of it. Uh, I'm trying to think of, uh, there's another pepper that tastes very, very similar to this. I don't want to say Reaper, but it does not taste like ghost. I think the Naga is supposed to mean it's a, a hybrid from a ghost or something. Uh, so the heat's at, uh, it is actually a 2 out of 10 for me already, and it's climbing. It's climbing sl uh, slowly right now. It was quick at first but slowed down a little bit the uh, heat is size of my tongue a little bit on the other side of my tongue actually I'm getting at the top of my tongue too um, a little bit uh, burn on the sides of my lips um, try to think I, I can't say that that tastes like a ghost pepper I don't know if it's supposed to or not it just gave me a hiccup um, I actually think, uh, uh, if I remember right, it, taste, it reminds me of the taste of a uh, yellow maruga scorpion. So I do have uh, two yellow maruga scorpion plants outside. Um, they're in the small containers. You know, they're probably about a foot and a half tall. They got a uh, few peppers on them. They came from seeds that I pulled out of my uh, yellow maruga scorpion plant last year. You know, some of the peppers. Um... So the heat's right now, it's still at a 2. 
Um, just a little bump or two. It hasn't gone up past that. So it jumped up uh, so it's too pretty quick and then uh, it slowed down. I don't I can't say I can't give it a three yet if it's even gonna hit a three. Uh, so far we had we got one hiccup out of it. My eyes are tearing up a little bit. I can actually feels like Cap Stason's coming out my tears. <laughs> so still the the heat's still just uh, a little bit at the actually the underneath my tongue is uh, cooled down a little bit. It's mostly on the, the top um, sides of my tongue. Uh, my lips actually cooled down pretty quick. So right now, yeah, it's just focusing on the uh, the top sides of my tongue. So it's got my nose running. Uh, he's already dying down. It's already at a one, like below a one already. It just uh, dropped really quick. And still, the uh, there's a little tiny bit of heat radiating under my tongue, but uh, I can't even give the top side of my tongue uh, one anymore. It's dropping quick. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, the Naga uh, Moorish pepper. I think I pronounced it Marich in my uh, videos when I'd be showing off my plants that are outside. Um, I can't remember if I ever heard anybody pronounce it before, but I did uh, watch a uh, few videos yesterday of it. Just to see what other people thought, and they were too well. At least a couple people I heard pronounce it Morich. So, but uh, yeah, that's the uh, Naga Morich pepper, and uh, uh, not bad. Um, like I said, I think if I'm remembering right, that it reminds me of the taste of a yellow Murga scorpion. Yellow Murga scorpion was uh, quite a bit spicier than this, though. Like that, the yellow uh, Murga scorpion was equivalent to a. The one that I had was equivalent to uh, uh, almost like the high end of what a reaper is. I mean, it was spicy. But this thing is, uh, it's, it's about the heat of a uh, decent sized ghost pepper. Uh, well, a little more than that. Um, it got it got close to uh, what uh, reapers are, like the low end of the reapers where they're supposed to be 1.4, 1.5 million Scoville. But uh, anyways, that's my review. First time trying a Naga Morris pepper. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.